Do you ever just wake up and look forward to purchasing tiles? Well, with this generation of retail spaces, they have evolved and become ever so more exciting and such an exhilarating, fun experience to purchase items. We're here at Sad Ceramics, the experts when it comes to tiles, and welcome to Property Focus. My name is Peter Ngigi. Let's get it in and learn about these tiles. And welcome to the Saj Ceramics showroom along Kiambu Road. This modern retail structure is undoubtedly one of the best I've seen thus far. You see, they've got an interplay of volumes and space juxtaposed together with voids to give you a piece of beautiful architecture right behind me. Come along everybody, come check it out. So, ground level is retail for tiles, second floor is office spaces, and right at the top, they've got the sanitary wear. And that's why you're watching Property Focus, because we've got the insights on some of the very best over here. So, come along to this side. Now, you've got your different tiles on this section. These are more complementary tiles. We'll just adjust for exposure with this shot so you can get to see what it is that they have in brown, gray, all these tones, complementary 30 by 40 tiles, 30 by 60 tiles that are right over here. You've got your 60 by 60s, 30 by 60s, all within this section. So come along, let's see what it is that they have. 80 by 80 tiles right over here. If you're big on these ones and you want bigger tile space on your walls, you could go for this and they already have some very beautiful designs. I really like this space right over here. Decorative, polished, finished tiles right over here that have these marble effects. Decorative tiles over here that have these other decorations and some of these are actually manufactured to get those beautiful designs right over here so the showroom is quite beautiful lots of lighting floss lighting which you get here i believe they're one of the only distributors who provide this so it's really really elegant the showroom is it gives you a very homely feeling and they sort of have mimics of different spaces of what you could even do within your space so coming on to this section right over here here your outdoor tiles, you've got your wood-like finishes, all manufactured, your very polished ones out here, you've got your flooring tiles out here for outdoor areas that is just brilliant. They've staged this with a pagola right over here, beautiful floss lighting once again right on this section, and of course your stone look like tiles which are matte finish cladding, you've got your matte granito tiles also over here in different shapes that I think are just magnificent. So, come along. And you've got your wall tiles right over here, manufactured here. You've got your 30 by 45s on this section, porcelain, ceramic tiles, 40 by 40s on this section in all these different colors, shapes, and sizes. And we're going to have a chat with the expert to tell us a little bit more about the difference between these two. But when you're looking at application, how do you apply your tiles? So we'll just take you through a six minute course, quick course on that. Tile and stone are very durable materials that can and should last a lifetime. When tiles break, more often than not, it's due to issues with the substrate or the installation method. The way you trial mortar for setting tiles makes a big difference. Let's look at the way to trial and what's an error. Now, porcelain tiles in particular can withstand extra heavy service conditions. It takes a lot of impact or point load to cause bond loss when installed correctly over a sound substrate. The mortar under this tile was installed using the correct trial technique. No error here. On the other hand, since tile is a hard and brittle finish or a veneer, unsupported space under the tile actually creates weak spots. The same porcelain tiles may be easily damaged by the same impact heavy load and other causes. Spot bonding with mortar is not recommended to set tile as well. It may be easier to set tiles flat to each other during the installation, but it's only a matter of time before just the slightest force causes a failure. Little mortar comes into contact with the tile. It was easy to spot the tile that was installed correctly. 
The first tile was installed using the recommended standard method and the others were not. Unfortunately, many tiles are being installed incorrectly, especially very large tiles, and this can result in costly breakage. You get the job done more quickly, yes, but you can't get proper motor coverage. Air gets trapped with nowhere to go and leaves the tile unsupported. Swirling the mortar causes voids where the tile is not bonded to the substrate. These voids can result in cracked tile and bond failure under normal use, but especially under point load or impact. In addition to impact and heavy loading, tiles set without proper motor coverage are more likely to fail under many conditions. To name a few, substrate deflection, shrink rate or creep, thermal expansion in high temperatures and freeze thaw applications. A lack of perimeter and other movement joints affects well bonded tiles so imagine when half or even less of a tile is adhered. According to the tile standards in America, a minimum of 8% mortar coverage in interior applications should be applied, 95% for exteriors and wet environments natural stone tiles require at least 95% coverage in all areas. Notice what happens when clear glass over swirled ridges. See how hard it is to achieve the coverage required. It's impossible when you spot on. Even beating it with a mallet won't help. The key to successful coverage is playing it straight. Combing the mortar in straight lines while trowel ridges running in the straight lines are much easier to collapse. They assist with air removal to maximize mortar coverage and ensure a strong bond to the tile and substrate. You can't see through the tiles, but you'll see this, but if you could, you'd see the technique gives best support. The first is to key in a coat of mortar into the substrate with a flat side of the trowel. Then add more mortar to the substrate and comb the mortar in straight lines, all going in one direction. Combing the trowel ridges in straight lines provides better distribution of the mortar. With rectangular tile, trowel ridges should go across the short direction of the tile. This allows better air release when you bed the tile. Be careful not to leave any voids along chalk lines or between tiles. Use a trowel that will help you achieve continuous minimum coverage and larger tiles more often require deeper trowels. For large format tiles, glass tiles, natural stone, or any tile set on exterior surfaces, back buttering, the tile is recommended. Use the flat side of the trowel to get an even coat of mortar and fill all the spaces in the surface. To finish, set the tile firmly and move it backwards and forwards across the trowel ridges about one eighth or quarter of an inch. Move the tile only in one direction perpendicular to the ridges without moving in the opposite direction or twisting the tile. When you first start setting and then periodically through the installation, remove a tile and check for coverage. Ridges should be collapsed and you don't want the tile or the substrate to be missing mortar. Straight tile ridges collapse with back and forth motion to eliminate voids. You will get a much stronger bond with a complete mortar coverage. And remember, the trowel or the larger the trowel, the more back and forth movement is ne needed. Play it straight and always use the recommended tile setting method that you just learned today here on Property Focus. So some of you thought that such ceramics only sells tiles. I even thought the same thing, but they don't. They sell so much more. They do lighting, they do furniture, and they've got some pieces from Italy that they import for different market segments. So you've got these that are right over here that are being sold, which are quite interesting. Lots of interesting stuff right over here. This is floss lighting. You've got a very nice wall house piece. You could put it in the corner. It's so seamless, really beautiful. Warm light coming off from it. That's just amazing. Now, coming on to this section right over here. Now, 
you remember I told you that Saj Ceramics also does lighting. This is the pendant lighting from Floss as well. Very modern pieces and they, they're just so warm and so elegant and they just blend in anywhere you put them. Okay, so already you get to see what I've done with the tiles here. You're getting into a gray area and this is Dada. This is a Dada kitchen set. You've got your cookers sold over here at Saj Ceramics that's really elegant. Brought in, shipped in right from Italy. You've got your kitchen pieces that close so elegantly because I know some of you will probably be asking how much this is. This is only 5 million bob. This is the premium market stuff but you can see it's worth it. It's really good. Brilliant. All in all, I love it. Let's go on to the decorative tiles right over here by Saad Ceramics. A whole range of just mosaic tiles. Very beautiful, different beautiful colors. Orange, yellow, blue, gray, green, all of that. Whatever your mind fancies, you could achieve right over here. So I'll direct your attention also to this section. You've got closets that are also for sale. Very modern, again, imported from Italy. If you want something, put your clothes. Some people like to see their clothes and uh, have them displayed like a gallery. You could get that stuff right over here at Saad Ceramics. So come along, everybody. Still on to furniture that they have. You remember I told you it's sort of been split up into office spaces and also residential display staged units. Look at this. Just look at this. This is the floss lighting pendant. Beautiful light that comes in. It's not too harsh. You get to rest and it doesn't affect your eye. You don't, you don't wake up and you feel a glaring sort of light. No, that's not what you get with these lights. And you can have it in white or you can have it in black as well. Of course, also the bed is up for sale and you've got your workstation over here and it's got a very nice feel. It's actually in leather. You should come here to Saad Ceramics showroom and get to feel how this is. You could do your work, work on your laptop. You've got LED light right over there. It's just really brilliant and it's the right height. And I believe you could, anybody could fit it into the space. I really like how this place looks. Now, transitioning over to the sinks on this section, very modern. I'd like you to focus your attention also on the floss lighting right at the top, which they also offer. But I love this. This sink over here is about 8,000. The tap is about 9,860 and you've got the presser right there for 1,740. And I love this design for him and her. And they've staged it in a way that you could also stage it as well. That looks really, really good. Now, more floss lighting right over here, just suspended off from the ceiling that you get with Saj Ceramics and they're just amazing. Beautiful pieces, lots of tiles, only at Saj Ceramics, ladies and gentlemen. Let's take a short commercial break. When we're back, more on this, and we've got an expert of note to tell us a little bit more about what you need to know about tiles. Super brilliant. Welcome back from the commercial break, folks. Now, let's see some of the other things that you can get here at Saad Ceramics. So come along, let me direct your attention right to the staircase. By the way, you've got your marble floors right over here. They're in a bit of a beige color. This is more floss lighting that they offer for the staircase, which is just really brilliant. And we'll quickly just go up and you can see how it just escorts you all the way up. You could put in that fixture in your house. Watch your step. And we are at the topmost floor and already you can appreciate some of the wood-like finished tiles that are right at the bottom, wooden slates, floss lighting steel, and we're here with the sanitary wear. You've got some towel rails right over here, soap dishes right there. You've got your water closets in here, lots of beautiful stuff, more sinks, more basins, all of that within this floor, but I'd like to direct your attention to this section. If you're more of the colorful 
palette. You have a colorful palette. You've got blue, you've got gray, you've got white, you've got brown, you've got pink, you've got light blue, green, all of that within this space. Isn't it amazing? So come along, come along. We still got more. And then we have a chat with the expert to just tell us a little bit more about Saj Ceramics. For your kitchen needs, you've got some sinks right over here. You've got some taps as well. Very nice finishes, elegant, nice basins on this side. Very good, interesting designs. I wish we could have water pouring out of them, but come have a look at this. Come look at some of the innovative taps that are coming out on the market today. You just push it to whichever direction. Look at that, how beautiful. Look at this right over here. This is brilliant. I think this is sensor, but come along to the showroom and get to see what Vitra has to offer because I think some of these are just exceptionally, exceptionally good. So coming along to this side, still more ranges of all these taps. You know, I really love how they feel. Very nice, you know. We'll have Anki to tell us a little bit more about this. Ooh. I've just seen something. I think this is now their premium section because it just feels a bit more elegant in this particular side of things. More taps over here. This is in a metal finish, which is quite interesting. But speaking of premium finishes, we want to get into our billboard in just a moment. Have a look at this billboard by Sugarbush. And when we're back, more of this showroom. Ridgefront Development introduces to you Sugarbush. This trophy property brings the essence of sophistication. Set along the elite Nairobi leafy suburb on Isaac Gathandu Road in Lavington, resides a sensational offering of warm contemporary architecture that makes an unparalleled statement of vision and design. Perched ever so elegantly reside seven state-of-the-art townhouses that are the perfect balance of modern and contemporary design in the latest project by Ridgefront Development. To breathtaking interiors, guided by their minimalist philosophy, the founders designed Sugarbush as a retreat where design and quality enthusiasts can be immersed in a less is more lifestyle. Open living as you transition from space to space. An open plan kitchen. And ample natural light inspire a sense of space while further exploring the concept of understated luxury. With design of note, quality fixtures and fittings, ambience, a warm inviting fireplace, we invite you to this unmatchable experience. Welcome to Sugarbush. Brilliant. How exquisite are those homes at Sugarbush? Aren't they amazing? Now, to complement a premium home like that, you definitely need premium sanitary wear as well. So this is the Vitra section for Saj Ceramics. They're the official and only authorized distributors of this particular brand. You've got your freestanding bathtub over there. Very nice design elegant and this is for 175,000 which looks absolutely amazing and you've got more innovative designs over here very nice basins very interesting mixes right over there that feel very elegant and so much more within this floor space right over here so 
oh this is amazing i really love this this gun this gun metal sort of brushed finish is very exquisite if i was to pick one i'd definitely pick this and put it at home actually let me go meet ankit and find out what the price is on that maybe he can give me a discount and welcome to property focus ankit thank you peter welcome to sad ceramics brilliant brilliant tell us about yourself well, we are uh, Saad Ceramics, we manufacture tiles locally. We've been doing that for the past 20 plus years now, being one of the oldest players in the market. What we focus on is quality and service to the core. And quality indeed, you guys have some amazing stuff, Anki. Thank you, Peter. First of all, what are tiles made of? Tiles are made of uh, different sets of clays. There's a mixture of clay and uh, sand and additives like uh, flospa and talc. So we have uh, two sets of tiles here. We have ceramic tiles, which we manufacture locally. And uh, what we import is uh, porcelain tiles, which are made out of porcelain material. Uh -huh. And Kit, which one is better between the two? If you're buying and you're fitting your house? For sure, both have their own respective qualities and drawbacks. Yes, for ceramic tiles, they're pocket friendly, locally available, and anytime and anywhere. Like, mm -hmm. be it 10 years down the line, yes, we still have the product for you. Mm -hmm. Whereas porcelain tiles are more of a hard-wearing tile. It's used for commercial places, mm. be it a factory or a warehouse, malls, cafeterias, airports. Mm -hmm. And they are more hard-wearing in the sense that they last you longer because of their properties, which are much more stronger compared to a ceramic tile. But that doesn't make a ceramic tile bad as well. Okay. It's used for residentials and to a certain extent commercial properties as well in commercial buildings yes okay super so if you have a lot of footfall it's best to use porcelain. a porcelain tile yes for sure for decorative and house residential purposes a ceramic tile will do the job as well okay super yes. now you talked about five different sizes yes um where can you use them in what sort of spaces well, give us some advice for what that. we manufacture locally we have uh, two different sizes in wall and three different sizes in floor that's a 25 by 33 and a 30 by 45 in the wall application. And uh, we have a 40 by 40, 33 by 33 and a 30 by 60. Those three sizes can be used for the floor and for the wall as well. Being a floor body, it can go on the wall as well. Interesting. Now there are lots of things that you offer. Could you list out all the things that Sad Ceramics offers? A variety of things we have to offer. First and foremost being the core product, which is ceramic tiles manufactured locally. And uh, we do import uh, porcelain tiles from around the world, to name a few countries, that is Spain, Italy, Turkey, China, Malaysia, India as well. And uh, sanitary ware is from Turkey, which is a, is a high-end brand called Vitra, with the sole agents in Kenya for that. Third, we, ha uh, third, we have a lighting that is uh, from Italy. It's called Floss, Floss lighting. Like uh, what we can see behind here, that's uh, one of the products they have to offer and uh, this is high-end products and custom made for you it's what you require it's not something you just buy off the shelf you want it you like it it's a one -on -one. no it's a one-on-one -on -one yes. made to measure for you okay. we have Molteni as well this is furniture again from Italy like what you're sitting on you can see this table stand here it's a very nice uh, table stand and what does it have at the bottom that's a marble, uh, it's a marble stand. Mm -hmm. It's what's uh, supported by it, yes. And again, all this is bes bespoke furniture. Made to measure, custom made, what you like, be it the material, the fabric on it, the size you want it in, it's all made for you at your spec. Well, thank you very much, Ankit. Thank you so much, Peter. Thanks. Now, there you have it from Ankit, who's a tile expert, and you'll definitely find him whenever you walk in into the showroom. I have thoroughly enjoyed myself looking at this magnificent showroom. Definitely one of the very best I've seen thus far. My name is Peter Ngigi. You were watching Property Focus. Till next week, same time, same place. Goodbye.